Hey, thanks for joining me for today's devotional from the Our Daily Bread family. Marvin Williams wrote today's devotional and titled it, God Cleans the Stains. What if our clothes were more functional, having the ability to clean themselves after we dropped ketchup or mustard or spilled a drink on them? Well, according to the BBC, engineers in China have developed a special coating which causes cotton to clean itself of stains and odors when exposed to ultraviolet lights. Can you imagine the implications of having self-cleaning clothes? A self-cleaning coating might work for stained clothes, but only God can clean a stained soul. In ancient Judah, God was angry with his people because they had turned their backs on him giving themselves to corruption and evil, and were worshiping false gods. But to make matters worse, they tried to clean themselves by offering sacrifices, burning incense, saying many prayers, and gathering together in solemn assemblies. Yet their hypocritical and sinful hearts remained. The remedy was for them to come to their senses and, with a repentant heart, bring the stains on their souls to a holy and loving God. His grace would cleanse them and make them spiritually white as snow. When we sin, there's no self-cleaning solution. With a humble and repentant heart, we must acknowledge our sins and place them under the cleansing light of God's holiness. We must turn from them and return to Him, and He, the only one who cleans the stains of the soul, will offer us complete forgiveness and renewed fellowship. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes to us from the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verses 10 through 18. Hear the word of the Lord. You rulers of Sodom, listen to the instruction of our God, you people of Gomorrah, the multitude of your sacrifices, what are they to me, says the Lord? I have more than enough of burnt offerings, of rams and the fat of fattened animals. I have no pleasure in the blood of bulls and lambs and goats. When you come to appear before me, who has asked this of you, this trampling of my courts? Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your incense is detestable to me. New moons, Sabbaths, and convocations, I cannot bear your worthless assemblies. Your new moon feasts and your appointed festivals, I hate with all my being. They have become a burden to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands in prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not listening. Your hands are full of blood. Wash and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Now let's pray. O oh, Father, thank you for bringing the good news in both the Old and New Testaments, the good news of Jesus Christ. Please forgive us for ignoring or trying to get rid of our own sin. Jesus, we know that only you can cleanse the stains of our soul. So we acknowledge and repent of our self-sufficiency and turn only to you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and repent. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Wes Ward, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. Hey, thanks for joining me for today's devotional from the Our Daily Bread family. Marvin Williams wrote today's devotional and titled it, God cleans the stains. What if our clothes were more functional, having the ability to clean themselves after we dropped ketchup or mustard or spilled a drink on them? Well, according to the BBC, 
Engineers in China have developed a special coating which causes cotton to clean itself of stains and odors when exposed to ultraviolet lights. Can you imagine the implications of having self-cleaning clothes? A self-cleaning coating might work for stained clothes, but only God can clean a stained soul. In ancient Judah, God.